Hi guys, I have another Copic coloring and card tutorial for you today and I am coloring Flower Fairy by Little Blue Button Stamps. She's a very cute little girl stamp. I really enjoyed coloring her. Um, I'm using my standard colors for skin. I kind of like those colors. So uh, those are the ones uh, that, that I'm using. And then I am using some dark browns for her hair and some pink for her dress. So it's going to be a really good card. And I have actually a similar color scheme for a card with a girl with a very similar hairdo. Uh, the Multimedia Dream Girl, also by Little Blue Button Stamps. And I have linked her at the end of the video if you want to go and see that video. And if you, have, if you haven't already seen it. Uh, it's a very hair intense video. But yeah, uh, when it comes to Copic pens and color schemes and everything, I get the question, which colors do you recommend uh, for starter kit pretty often? And for me, I must say, color is very, very individual. I can't just recommend, yeah, have these and these colors because you might not like those colors and I don't want you to be disappointed in your Copics because you have the wrong colors. I, when I started out with Copics, I did buy colors after a blog. She said, these are the best. These are my bl favorite blues. These are my favorite greens. These are my p favorite pinks. And I can say, those colors are actually the ones I use the least from my Copics. And it wasn't until I actually bought the whole Spectrum Noir kit and started playing with the Spectrum Noirs that I actually found how much I love uh, coloring with alcohol markers. But I still felt that the brush tip that the Copics had and the Spectrum Noirs didn't have at that moment um, was the winning thing. So I started to buying the sets of the pens and now I'm just loving my Copics. I would never go back to anything else. I love my Copics. But when it comes to color, I recommend go through all your favorite colorists blogs, look at their creation and find which are the colors that you are most drawn to, what kind of color schemes and then most of the colorists out there are listing their Copics and uh, which Copics they are using for their creation so then you can get that information from them. Um, that is my recommendation. I use almost every color uh, that I have so I have a lot of different creations on my blog you have all the information all the Copics that I use for my creations um, and all the materials for all my cards so you can always go there and look at those uh, things but yeah um, that's I think all I had about coloring today I actually really loved coloring her um, I love the hair especially the hair. It's a really um, a favorite part. I love coloring hair. I think um, I do like the hair intensive. Sometimes kind of nice not to have a lot of hair because it takes a pretty long time to color the hair. Uh, um, but uh, I really love doing it uh, this time. When it comes to the greens, I'm actually using a very deep normal green and then I'm layering the yellow greens on top and this actually changes the color completely of that darker green and that's a big tip from me try layering different colors because you can get really good effects from doing that and not use the like the blues with the blues and the greens with the greens try playing around a little bit maybe layering some green on the blue or or something and if, if you are a little bit scared about it you can always use the blue greens on the blues and, and such. Now we have the card. The card is a standard A2 base and I am using just one single sheet of pattern paper for this card because I felt that it, it didn't need any more and I'm doing a pretty big sentiment and usually when I do big sentiments I do kind of a block sentiment at the side of the character but I thought this time that I would do a block sentiment stripe because that would 
and make it kind of fun. I'm gonna heat emboss this sentiment, uh, so I'm stapping it with some Versa mark. Um, but first, I used my little powder toe tool to um, reduce the the kind of oils and stuff on the paper so that the embossing powder stays on the Versa mark and not on the rest. And after I heat embossed it, I'm using a dry baby cloth, baby wipe, to kind of dry off everything from that strip. And then I'm just making a strip that is as wide as my card. And now it's time to put it all together. Um, I'm using my fine little tape runner. I love that thing. Um, it's not expensive. And for me, it was very easy to get because it's from Crafters Companion in the UK, so it's not doesn't cost that much to ship. Uh, the sentiment I am going to just uh, tape down. I'm using quite much tape because it was a little bit warped after I uh, heated with my heat gun, and therefore I want to be sure that it actually stays down thoroughly. So I have a lot of uh, tape on a tape there. I put her on some foam tape and then I decided that it wasn't enough. Uh, I wanted to add a couple of details just to bring that green to the rest of the card. So I'm using these little enamel dots. I think they are by Basil. I think it is. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they are. Um, and I really, really like them. It, it kind of brings the card a little bit together and makes it a little bit pop a little bit more. Then I just put it on a card base and the card is done. And that was all for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just comment down below. I try to answer as soon as I can. And... I'll see you later. Bye.